In just three days, tens of thousands of you will be running into Boulder, Boulder, and at the end of the day, pay tribute to the men and women who served our country. 7 News reporter Jacqueline Allen introduces us to a Women's Air Force Service Pilot, or WASP, one of the first women in U.S. history to fly military aircraft for our country. If putting on a hat could take you back in time. Yeah, there you go. How's that look? That okay. looks pretty good. Betty Latovich would now be traveling with her daughter Sophia to 1942. World War II. While men were flying planes in combat, women were answering a call closer to home. Somebody had to fly the planes at home. You couldn't just let them sit rusting on the ground. Betty was one of the pioneer women who paid their own way to get to Avenger Field in Sweetwater, Texas. Women's Air Force Service Pilots. They were called the WASPs. Their mission, fly military aircraft in the United States to free up men for combat flights. Every woman already had her pilot's license, but to be a WASP, you had to pass intense military training. You had to march in formation. Oh, God, yes. From the ground to the air, drill after drill, though the strongest memory 70 years later may be the primitive barracks in that Texas heat. Yes, and boy, was that hot. We had these rotten little cots, and they let us drag them outside for the night because it got cooler at night. More than 25,000 women applied to be a WASP. Only 1,800 were accepted. Just over 1,000 graduated, including Betty. Were you ever afraid when you were flying? No, never. She was a pioneer, flying different types of aircraft all over the country, delivering planes and cargo to bases, even serving as a test pilot for military aircraft that could be less than reliable. When you were uh, testing aircraft after they'd been worked on, if they had a problem, didn't you usually ask the mechanic to come up with you? You bet we did. Uh huh. And if he said he was busy, we'd say, well, work on the plane a little longer, and then we'll go up together again. In less than two years, the WASPs flew more than 60 million miles for their country before the government suddenly disbanded the program. The pilots had to pay their own way home and were almost forgotten. WASP? What's a wasp? What's a wasp? It's that, an insect. That insect that will sting you. <laughs> yes. Watch out. It wasn't until 1977, 35 years later, the wasps were finally given status as veterans, and in 2009, the Congressional Gold Medal. And it is wonderful to get recognition after many years of sort of being pushed to the side, because, you know, you sort of accept that after a while, or it doesn't count, or it wasn't important, but actually, it did count. It was important. Yeah. These days, putting on the hat she wore as a wasp takes us all back, a reminder of those who've quietly sacrificed to serve. Well, I'm very proud, Mom. Jacqueline Allen, 7 News. Wow, what amazing women. We're proud of our wasps. Absolutely. Just love seeing those Thank old you. photos Thank and you that for video. Your service, yes. Really cool. Betty and three other veterans, by the way, will be honored during the Boulder Boulders Memorial Day tribute on Monday. You can watch the ceremony right here on 7 News during an extended 11 a.m. show. And it's not too late to sign up to run the Boulder Boulder. If you want, you can register online until 6 tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. After that, you can register in person at the sport exhibit. All the information you can find on our website, thedenverchannel.com. Just look under the spotlight section on the homepage.